All right, ladies. We're back in the kitchen. Where else will we be? Kitchen. Kitchen life. That's right. Let me hear you say it. KL, baby. KL. Kitchen life. I don't hear nobody. So that's why I'm shooting this video. I don't hear nobody raising their hand, putting up their H's, putting up their L's. That's right, so we're back in the kitchen, ladies. Another tutorial. This one's called Organizing Your Kitchen on a Regular Basis. What was that? What did you want to say? Whoa, what's going on in there? You gonna get like attacked? Yo! Yo, you want to say something? <laughs> All right, so this is what we're going to talk about today. Oh Every kitchen Why needs to have. Every kitchen needs to have a drawer just like that one. Why? Because. Sometimes things just don't quite work out the way you plan on them when they come out the dishwasher, when you stack them, you rack them, and then you attack them. Boom, boom. All right, so here we're going. I want to give ladies a quick tutorial. That's all you need to worry about. They're clean. All right. All right, ladies. So in the last video, we showed you, you know, dishes coming out of the dishwasher. On this video, we're going to show you them going in because a lot of you ladies. That's it going in, boom. Right, so a lot of you ladies, you think that you just, you know, if you have the dishwasher at home, I've seen a lot of ladies make this mistake and that's why I'm shooting this video. Please ladies, don't just throw the dishes directly into the dishwasher and wonder why your dishwasher ain't working. I'm gonna tell you why. You're jamming it up with food and all types of crustaceans that you should be hitting in the sink, okay? So I'm, look, here we go. You see that? Can you please stop? You rinse it off a little, ladies. Look at this, this is the pan, this is a big pan. I'm showing you all the tips and tricks now. That's a sponge. Anything you want to tell the ladies? Just scrub before putting it in. That's right, ladies. Scrub before putting it in. I'll let you think about that one. Anyway, all right, so we were in the kitchen. Now I'm gonna walk over here to like the living room area for a second. I wanna touch on a real sensitive topic. You know, and I've been getting a lot of uh, fan requests to kind of cover my views on this topic. And it's about keeping those floors mopped, ladies. I mean, what can I say? You gotta keep those floors clean. See these floors right here? And this is not something that you have to do every day, ladies. This is something simple. Once a week, preferably maybe on a Saturday or Sunday, you're off. But you gotta keep the floors clean. Why? Now this goes out to all my ladies out there who are mothers. Got kids they're running around, they're on the floor. Germs. You don't think about that. Who for thought? All right, so that wraps up this episode of uh, in the kitchen, around the house, and everything else. And uh, I always like to go ahead and let Natasha, Natasha, would you like to say anything to the ladies or any of our people out there? Keep your shit clean. There you have it, ladies. You're gonna want to go ahead and keep your shit clean. If there's anything that you could walk away with from this episode. If you forgot everything else I said, you remember those words. So keep your shit clean. All right, George Truly over and out. We'll see you on the next episode where we cover what's in your refrigerator and how should it look. A little sneak. Uh. Oh, there goes the light. A little peek as to what's going on. All right, y'all. Next episode over and out. Yours truly. Goodbye. <laughs>